All right, in this video, I'm gonna do a thorough walkthrough of how to connect and set up the trailer, show you the exterior features as well as the interior features. So right here, um, all I'm doing is I'm, I'm cranking it, the trailer crank and dropping the top of the trailer into the ball. I tried to close the pin, but uh, it was a little too close. So all I did is I put the truck in drive I went forward a little bit and uh, the ball went right in. So sometimes that happens if the safety clip doesn't um, close on the ball. Yeah, as you can see, I closed it right there. And I am putting the safety pin to secure it into place. Next, I'm going to put the safety chains on the truck. And I kind of put them at an angle. If you try to do it straight on, it's going to get caught on the on the pin. You kind of have to go at an angle on some of them. The ball is a 2 and 5 16 ball. And next, I'm going to be connecting the 7 uh, round pin connection into my truck. There's a little groove on there um, that that uh, lock, kind of locks it into place. Uh, most vehicles have that. Make sure the groove is uh, fully on the outside. Next, I'm gonna turn on the propane. I'm simulating that I was setting up a, a you know at a campground or connecting to it. Um, so once you're dropped at a campground, you would turn on the propane. You know, make sure your battery is fully connected, the lid is closed, and this is the storage compartment right here. And here you'll find the basics, uh, pretty much everything you need. This is a little uh, ratchet. Uh, that you can use to drop the uh, stabilizers. I leave that in there as well as an extension cord, two uh, lawn chairs, and the elbow for the sewer uh, line. So right here I'm just you know showing you uh, how you can drop the stabilizers and there's four of them that are connected uh, to the trailer on uh, each side. So next I'm moving over to the uh, trailer tire I put those uh, wheel chokes behind it if you're at a slight incline if you're disconnecting the trailer it's really important uh, for safety reasons to put those on next I am uh, connecting the electrical outlet it's a 30 amp wire um, you pretty much just pop it into place turn it to the right to lock it in and uh, uh, screw on the uh, the outlet um, Let's see here. Next is the uh, city water connection. There's a, uh, a little black knob on the end. You uh, twist that thing uh, to secure it. And there's a uh, pressure regulator on the end of that uh, water hose. It's really important you keep that thing on there um, to regulate the, uh, the water going into the trailer. As you can see, there's the fresh tank water fill as well. If you are dry camping, uh, really, really important to uh, fill that up before your trip. I usually, I usually fill it up if if uh, you're going on a uh, a boondocking trip. In the bumper, as you can see, is the uh, sewer line. So I have an extension on there, and um, I'm going to plug it into uh, the sewer line which is located on that same side of the trailer. The little clip's a little hard to twist off sometimes, so you just gotta give it a, uh, you know, a good turn. And that one uh, also just twists right into place. You line up the grooves, give it a good twist, and make sure it's connected. Next, you go into the storage compartment, and that's the little elbow. If you're at a campsite, and you are going to have full hookups, or you're gonna drain it, you put that little connection on the end, and that goes down into uh, the septic or whatever, you know, wherever you're going to be dropping that. Uh, it's really important to drop the first, uh, the, the black tank first and then the gray tank second. The reason being, you drop the, the waste and then the gray, which is the um, sink and shower water, will kind of clean out the, the sewer line. So do the black first and the gray second. To drop the... Um, tire there's a little safety pin on this side you remove that clip and then there's another clip in between uh, 
the tire there in the bumper you just remove that the tire drops down and then you are able to uh, open up the back end if you want to pop that uh, pop that uh, the door up that just raises up like that and now you have access to uh, the trailer the little mosquito uh, net right there if you're camping there's a lot of bugs around you want to get some fresh air you close that thing if you want to open it up you can you can open it next we're going to go around the uh, main entrance of the trailer that's a little handle that closes in and out that is the lock box with your keys inside and then there's the purple key for the trailer make sure you uh Keep track of that key at all times and that's the step the step locks into place with that little blue clip there and make sure the door is fully open before you uh, pull that thing out because it does kind of rub on the side if it's not fully open so make sure you open the door fully pull that little clip and the steps come down all right there you go. Make sure you follow our Instagram page and tag us in all your camping adventures. Right here you see the uh, kitchen. A little vent right there. It's a little hand crank vent. Uh, you just you can uh, manually pop that open if you want to get some fresh air or some sunlight. And close it back up. The window blinds. Those roll right up. Uh, don't don't touch the, the, the string on it. It's kind of got it tight into place. You just uh, you just uh, manually move it up, move it down. In here, you're going to find all your accessories, the Keurig, bowls, pots, pans, uh, cookware, um, all the kitchen accessories, uh, all the little goodies right there, trash bags, air freshener, cutting board. And let's see. Right here, you got the awning. So make sure you close the door or you know make sure it's not leaning up against the trailer because the, the awning will kind of rub against it um so make sure you kind of close the door and make sure it's not hitting the door as you uh release the awning you hear the uh, light switches there's a interior light switch you can manually turn them on and off as well um, if you want, you know, certain lights on or off, or you can click that, that button. And then the light next to it is uh, the exterior light. So it's that little light right there. If you want to have exterior lighting. Right here you have the entertainment center. In there you have two little tables. You can pop those tables out right there in the uh, right next to the bed if you want to have breakfast in bed, or you can uh, put them outside if you're camping. Microwave. You have your TV, DVD player, uh, some movies in there. Right here, you have your Bluetooth stereo. The pin to the Bluetooth is zero 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 zero. If you want to connect to it. Uh, in here, you'll find the uh, registration. Hopefully, none of you get pulled over. <laughs> But if you do need the registration, uh, it is in that bag. Again, those windows just uh, move up and down with uh, your hand. And right here we have the fridge. There's a little clip on the inside right there for both the fridge and the freezer. Those you kind of just press down and out. And the freezer is just up and out does have the power button on there when you're all set up connected you can turn that power button on now here's your control panel where the most important thing to keep track of is your tank level so it has your battery level your fresh water tank your black uh, sewers tank and your gray as well as your propane heater button and your uh, water pump it's really important to uh, leave that water pump button off if you are connected to city water or campground water if you're dry camping, you do need that water pump to uh, access the fresh water. The AC, it's pretty straightforward. It's all um, hand crank. So you choose your level, whether it be the fan or the AC. And right there is the uh, heater. You turn that bad boy on and the 
she comes out from right there. Next is the restroom. Nothing to it. Just make sure you are flushing the toilet paper that is provided by us. If you run out, then you can um, go ahead and use regular toilet paper. Just make sure you throw it in the trash can right there. It's a step stool, so whenever you're ready to flush it, you just step on that. A little, little stool on the end. And that's pretty much it for the hatch.